We created a part file from the ball valve assembly and we authored it so that we can add it to our self-draining run. Now it's time to add it. Open the tube and pipe routed systems assembly file and set the active level of detail to self-draining only and hide the base. This is a one inch pipe run so we need to reduce it to half an inch in order to connect the valve and we're going to use our elbow reducer. If we added the reducer to the assembly now it would be on the root of the main assembly and we want it to be part of the pipe run. So here is where you can get into trouble. The pipe run is a sub-assembly and all the pipes and fittings connected to it should be listed in one place in the BOM. So you have to activate the run before you add the components to it. Double click run 4 to activate it. We'll start by inserting the fitting from the content center. Open the assemble tab and then open the place from content center command. Expand fittings and then select elbows. This is our reducer elbow so double click it. Select half inch for the ND2 connection and the second connection is one inch. Check as custom and then click OK. If you created all the configurations of the reducer you should have part number 246-102 already in the tube and pipe folder. If you haven't created this file click the save button to create it. And if you have created the file click cancel. If you didn't click cancel, click in the graphics area to add one instance of the valve and then type the escape key to exit the command. If you did click cancel, open the pipe run tab and then open the place fitting command. Browse to the 246-102 file and double click it. Now click on the end of the pipe. I'm going to click in the graphics area in case you inserted it from the content center. When the fitting is not connected, you need to use the connect fitting command. Open the command and then select the one inch end of the fitting. Now select the end of the pipe. If the engagement is based on the fitting, it's 661 thousandths of an inch. Use either engagement and click OK. We're going to make it point straight down, so right click it and select edit fitting orientation. Now set the view normal to the front of the desk. Drag the arrow until the green axis is vertical and then type the escape key. Now we need to add a nipple. Open the content center. Expand conduits and then select pipes. We're going to use the pipe we created so double click it. The size is half an inch, it's schedule 40, and set the length to 3 inches. As custom should be selected and click OK. Keeping with our naming convention, change the part number to 420-101-003 for a 3 inch long pipe. Click save and then add one instance of the pipe. Now open the pipe run tab and connect it to the reducer. The next step is to add the valve. Use the place fitting command to insert the valve. Now use the connect fitting command to connect it to the nipple.
Let's rotate it 45 degrees to improve access to the handle. Right click it and select Edit Fitting Orientation. Now drag it to minus 45 degrees. Now let's look at the BOM. Return to the main assembly and then save the file. Now if you expand run 4 you can see the new nipple which is part number 420-101 and the valve is below it. The part number for the nipple is supposed to be 420-001-003 so we'll have to fix this. Also notice that the pipes don't have part numbers so we'll need to add them as well. But what we've accomplished so far is we've added a reducer, a nipple and a valve to the run and all the components are listed under run 4. It was a simple enough task to activate Run 4 before we added the components, but it's very easy to forget this step. Now we're going to modify Run 1. We'll do this in the next lesson. Before you proceed to the next lesson, close the BOM and save the file.